A local woman who made a huge difference in the battle against domestic violence was honored today for her bravery. As MC for that event, I got to meet Crystal Harris, the woman the Team 10 investigators profiled as a victim of not only spousal rape, but also the justice system. After our expose, state law was changed to protect these women. And 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina shows us how she is still fighting the fight. Crystal Harris being honored for courage by the Center for Community Solutions. These things are put upon you sometimes. It was five years ago. She had secretly tape recorded her husband at that time, evidence that helped convict him of spousal rape. No one wants to be the face of, of spousal sexual assault or spousal rape. But there's more. Sean was a house husband. She earned a six-figure salary and was ordered to pay him support after he completed a six-year prison term. After Team 10 exposed her story, Harris won legislative support to toughen state law, prohibiting such payments when violence is involved. I had to be willing to just speak up. Once I did speak up, it was not hard. I mean, it's not like doors were slammed in my face. It, it truly was a matter of common sense. Among those proud of Crystal Harris was the keynote speaker for the Community Hero Awards, Hollywood actress and Oscar winner Marley Matlin, who is deaf and a victim herself. A translator joined us. I am a uh, survivor of domestic violence uh, from a past relationship before I was married. And I recovered from it. And for the most part, you know how those little things still linger, but it is important for me to be here to share my story. She told how important it is to raise awareness. Every single voice is worth being heard. And for a very good reason. It doesn't feel good. It's not a good situation to be in. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.